Hello there everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Terraria Muddy Mask Class. We're doing this a bit differently in this video, uh, mainly because when I was trying to read the script I just couldn't speak properly so. Uh, we're going to try this format out again. There's a very old format I did but we're not doing the old I write the code you paste. I'm going to actually do what I do in the T. Uh, the Terraria Modern Masterclass series. So let's start with a quick recap. Uh, previous three episodes, I started over eight months ago, and we're only on episode four, that is bad. But we've set up our mod, we've uh, created a basic item, and we've created a tile and the tile item. In this episode, I'm going to be covering how to create a wall the wall item and dust as well as making it so our item emits the dust particles so we're going to start with the wall main things you can need are using terraria using terraria.modloader and using microsoft .framework. everything else can be ignored uh, if you're going to be using dust ids or something later use Terraria.id. So uh, make our class public and extend mod wall. Override set defaults and you're going to be putting in some pretty simple stuff. Main dot wall house type equals true. If you want this wall tile to actually be usable in a house, there are some tiles in the game, some tiles, some walls in the game. That you can't use for houses. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but there are some in there. Then you've got the drop equals mods dot item type, and then the name of the class we're dropping. In this case, this. Uh, if you're using a normal wall or not wanting to drop a normal tile, just use the uh, item ID. Next, we're adding a map entry. So when we open the map, it will show this color. Uh, you'll be using uh, this is what the XNA framework is used for color 100, 150, 100. It gives a greeny sort of color, greeny gray. Yeah. And if you want the uh, wall to emit dust when you hit it, you do dust type equals mod dot dust type. Then the name of your dust or you could do dust id and then the id of the dust if you are having dust then you probably want to override the num dust method and this bit of code here is what's generally generally used num equals fail if that is true then we only get one dust otherwise we get three Basically the way this works if if fail num equals one else num equals three. That is just shorthand for this. And finally if you want to have some light you can do uh, similar to what you did with the tile. Modify light same general principle so I won't cover that uh, there is this little note here if you want to use 0 to 5, uh, 255 replace using this formula RG okay so let's go to our wall item and I'll show you how to create that uh, similar to how you do tile you have the general settings then finally you got item dot create wall equals mod dot wall type then the name of your wall then wall here and that'll be created it's very simple all you need to do so now let's go over to our dust dust is the particles that uh items tiles walls etc uh 
create that is the particle system in the game or in Terraria I should say you'll be using Terraria and Terraria.modloader you'll be extending mod dust first thing you'll do is public override on spawn and this will give you a few settings uh, this is optional if you're going to keep it as how the default dusts are such as having gravity having light and being a scale of one you can just skip this but let's cover what these do dust dot no gravity is basically if this is not affected by gravity we set this to true if it is you don't actually need this line in because it's set to true by default uh, set to false by default sorry dust dot no light is it a mean light if so true otherwise oh sorry it said it wrong again if this is not emitting light true if it is then set this to false then the scale uh you can choose a value which will either make the dust bigger or smaller depending on what the value is in this case we've gone double the size then you can do a public override update where you can change how the dust moves rotates and lower the scale as well as deactivating the dust otherwise it's going to remain in this example we're moving the dust position based on the dust velocity which is uh put in when we hit it basically if you were to run you'd be using the player velocity to add to the dust uh velocity then in this case let's say our velocity is x equals 5 and y equals 7 then our dust position will go uh, dust position x will go up by 5 and dust position y will go up by 7 then dust rotation plus equals dust velocity x this will basically rotate the dust uh, by the speed of the x velocity so you can change this to anything you want such as if you want to be quite slow you could do 0.2f or something or if you want to be very fast you can be insane and do 500f so wish then we're lowering the scale uh making the dust shrink by a factor of 0.1 f and then we're disabling the dust if our scale is less than 0.5 f dust diactive equals false just kills the dust particle finally let's go over to our item there are two methods you can do for creating dust one is on for example the melee effects where if you i believe this is if you hit an npc or something it i'm not actually sure because this wasn't working when i was testing and i didn't actually hit an enemy but uh, this will produce particles uh based on this if main.man.next uh three is the max equals zero then dust dot new dust position doing the hitbox.x and hitbox.y hitbox width and hitbox height then the mod dust type or on use item if main.ran.next equals zero dust.new dust then we're doing the player position.x play position.y the player hitbox and player hitbox width and height then the dust type then just do the term base use item okay so with that let's go to start and i'll show you that while that's loading i'll quickly show you the uh, graphics this is what the wall looks like oh got the left side of the wall top right bottom middle uh vertical vertical top uh, vertical bottom got the corners here horizontal uh, middle single tiles horizontal left horizontal right and all these are just the middle tiles so you'll be uh, this will be in the description below where you can download it then you got the tile item itself again I've just used something really basic basically the oops, choose the middle tile for this and then dust is a 10 by 30 uh, vertical strip 
each frame is 10 by 10 and you can have dust however you want uh, remember you're scaling up by two so each dust is five by five and you got that let's open this that's here mc item if we swing see we're creating dust particles as we don't with this if we create wool you can kind of see it's emitted light and you can destroy it let's also go into here you can see this is our wall here and that's the color we put in we're destroying it we're getting the wall back wool 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 is that a word doesn't feel right let's go try the melee effect shall we even though i doubt it's gonna work some reason it's just doesn't feel like it yeah because this isn't actually a melee item so that would be why it isn't working <laughs> but that's how you create a tile again you can do that this is used for walls as well walls used for houses uh, so yeah pretty simple stuff this is going to be a short episode hopefully you found it helpful uh, links to the templates uh, needed are below in the description uh, source code is also available uh, via github that will be in the description as well so until next time thank you for watching and goodbye